Hi everybody, this is Kelly from Dr. Kel's Comics, and today I'm going to talk to you about a variant Marvel mystery box from Hanahan -Han Comics. According to the website, the box is normally $49.99, but the last time I checked, it was still $29.99, which is what I paid for it. It comes with 10 variants, and they also have a DC box and some other things there, so you can check out their website if you're interested. Personally, I've, I've only done business with these guys a few times, but each time it's been good. The shipping has been quick, the customer service has been great, uh, they send you a thank you note, which is, which is a big deal. I appreciate getting that. It just says that there's somebody there you know, that appreciates having my business, which means a lot. Without further ado, here we go. The first book is Punisher number one, variant edition. Of course, everything's a variant. From Unknown Comics, it's a Perillo trade, trade dress variant cover. I went on eBay and looked uh, for each of these uh, for some sales, recent sales, and this book is sold everywhere from 99 cents to $18 raw. The next book is The Return of Wolverine number one. I don't know if I'll say this name right, but Suyan, perhaps? I found uh, this on eBay, which had sold recently. A CGC graded 9.8 for $59. The next comic is New Mutants 98, the facsimile edition uh, from 2019, Gerald Perel. I've seen this on eBay sell for $12, which is a pretty good deal. The Hunt for Wolverine, Mystery in Madripoor variant. Uh, Lee in Hook. This is a great variant. It's a great cover. The artist is one of the more popular guys out there right now, or at least in my world. I've seen this one sell on eBay for $10.99 raw. There are two Immortal Hulk variants in the box. Uh, the first, Immortal Hulk number two, the Gabriel Del Otto Spider-Man cover uh, is awesome, and I've seen it go for $24.50, uh, which almost pays for the box itself if you could get it, if you could sell it for that. The next one is Immortal Hulk 18, the Tom Rainey variant, with the first full appearance of Red Harpy. I've seen this one sell for $16.32 raw on eBay. Next, we have two issues of Extermination. Both are Unknown Comics uh, variants, uh, both by Mark Brooks. Uh, the first one is issue number two, and I've seen it sell anywhere from two to ten dollars. And the next one, the November 18 issue, number three, uh, has sold for eight dollars. And it's, uh, they're both Virgin variants. They're both pretty cool. Uh, I like the covers on both of these. The next is Domino number one, another unknown comics variant. I've seen this one on C on eBay, a CGC graded 9.8 for $13.50. I think my favorite issue in the box was this variant of Mary Jane number one. It's an unknown comic books variant, uh, Peril exclusive. Uh, I've seen it sell for $15. I like this one a lot because I'm a big Spider-Man fan and Mary Jane looks like she's up to something. Anyway, the last book is Wolverine number two, the Marcos Martin variant six. Uh, I've seen it on eBay for $6.38. So that's it. This is a shorter video. This is what I received. For 30 bucks, I think this is a good value. I don't mind getting variants, although it's there are so many of them out there now, it's kind of tough to get them. Previously, I ordered a little variant bundle of Spider-Woman number one. I think it came with seven different variants of the first issue, 
Yeah. And it was awesome. I was happy with it. It was inexpensive. I can't remember off the top of my head what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. Uh, definitely less than cover price. Uh, I think this was a good price. I think it was a good product. Uh, 10 variants, 30 bucks. You know, it's below cover. Uh, easier than getting it from other, getting them from other sources, I think. Definitely good customer service with the company and I would recommend it. Uh, please comment below. Please like and subscribe. We'd appreciate having some more subscribers here. Still trying to get the channel going and uh, talk about some comic stuff. Also, if you know of any musical references in comics, if it's jazz, if it's a player, you know, maybe we can uh, find John Coltrane in a comic, uh, uh, big band, uh, classical work, whatever it happens to be, uh, let me know. I'd like to do some research on it and see what it has to do with the comics, with the story itself, see if it influenced the book at all, and provide a little background to for people who are reading the book. So, anyway, thanks a lot, and have a great week.